Saturday's attack on the Westgate Mall that has so far claimed the lives of 62 people, among them foreign nationals, has stunned the nation and international community. Leaders from across the political divide yesterday converged at State House to speak with one voice against the heinous attack and urged the international community against issuing travel advisories. And once again also appealing to the international community that this is an incident of terror, an incident that can happen in any city, in any capital, anywhere in the world. Many nations have suffered from such crime. This is not the time to deter. This is not the time to issue travel advisories. For in doing so, the success is only for those who wish to cause harm and evil. Tourism is a very major contributor to our economy. We therefore want it to be treated as an isolated incident by, two, by, by terrorists as such and allow Kenyans to continue with their economy in a normal way. So far, no countries have issued travel warnings, with Britain amending its travel advice to include mention of the Westgate attack. The British Foreign Office has also advised against all but essential travel to within 60 kilometres of the Kenya-Somali border and to the eastly area of Nairobi, advising British nationals of possible further attacks. The Australian High Commission has asked its citizens to exercise a high degree of caution, while the US State Department's advice remained unchanged. Nairobi is set to host two major international tourism events this week, the Africa Hotel and Investment Forum and the Ecotourism and Sustainable Tourism Conference, drawing in 700 visitors in total. Tourism, Commerce and East Africa Affairs Cabinet Secretary Phyllis Candie sought to reassure visitors set to attend the event and tourists in general of the country's safety. I'm holding this press conference to assure tourists and those visitors who are visiting Kenya that the rest of Kenya is peaceful. Life is going on as normal, and I think that's what needs to go out there. That life is, it's, this incident is just confined to Westgate Mall. And that situation is being handled by the security agents, and it's under control. As the siege wages on and anticipation grows on the conclusion of the terror attack, it remains to be seen whether or not the tourism sector, which is among the country's top foreign exchange earners, will sustain the negative publicity and fear of insecurity fashioned from the Westgate terror attack. Michelle Morgan for Monday Special.